Welcome guys and welcome to what remains of Edith Finch. Hmm. I haven't played this before or anything. Oh, hello. Um okay. Has to do something with this journal, I think. A lot of this oh. isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Hmm. Nice oh. Oh, she's a bit chubby. I lived here until I was eleven. But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Actually, let's look around. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. My brother Milton oh. disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Oh, okay. <sighs> so I'm looking at the floor, I'm just shut my door, turn the volume up. Inside the mailbox, the bills from seven years ago marked urgent. Open immediately. We're just gonna leave there, can we? Like, take it. Hmm, this is an odd looking mailbox. Oh, it's a mini version of the real house. Okay, cool. I think this is a whole game, I'm not sure. I keep pressing that button. In a row, my mother left me a key that didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The finches. What path? Uh, eeny miny, eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tail by its toe. If you do, let it go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Guess this one. I think they both lead to the house anyway. Because what's the point if like one road didn't? I wouldn't have driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few footprints. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was a guy. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Mm, mm. That is, <laughs> it looks like the, the house from Hello exactly Neighbor. Like the way I've been dreaming about it. Yeah, both the roads lead to the house. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew what exactly those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. The 
looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. How do I put it down? Okay. Maybe I can go through a window. Jeez, what is that? Oh, it's a tree. <laughs> That's nice. I have like a wheelchair ramp. They have a basement. Why did she try the key on that door? Probably with the doggy door it used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Cosmic cuisine, raw fowl. Hmm. What was that? No idea what that is. Tucto clean. Doctor Cosm's pride. <laughs> I guess he has no more of that. Eco. First time in years. I felt like I was home. But I thought you said that you hated this. Why would this feel like your home? But instead of a family, oh. there were just memories of one. Okay. Hold day feast, witch's ki the kitchen, a viking's belly, T hasting Thailand, the Nordic cookbook, Weird recipes, flour, salt, water, and yeast. So where that's pancakes. The Northwest Chef. Pacific Fam of uh, Pantry. Fish and shellfish, does that say? No idea. Love memory of Lewis Finch. Great grandson to Eddie. Edie. Oh, is it Edie? Edith Dawn. I guess that's Dawn. And Lewis. Wait. Oh yeah, Lewis. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Okay. I have a cat called Molly. The table was so <clears throat> from the night we left. Mm. Yeah. I can see. My, My mom, mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. I don't think I'd ever put my parents in a, in a nurse, nursing home. Oh. Nothing in the house looked at her. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Oh, okay. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay. That music built box has something off about it, I don't know. Ha, <laughs> Bigfoot. Hee <laughs> hee. It's just... Oh, okay. The music box just had something off. Didn't like it. I like the music there. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. I 
Oh. He told me once that every event you ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What? <laughs> they have their family buried in their house. Hmm. <laughs> bit weird. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Was that? Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. Molly? If she hadn't died in 1947. I swear Molly was the name of their cat. Did their cat have their own room? <laughs> Even as a mouse? Oh no, that's girls. Okay. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, hello. Why is it book My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Ooh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Well, before I go in there, I'm gonna check the other rooms. Oh, someone built that back. Hmm. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Guys, I'll be back. Give me a sec. Jesus, sorry. That was knock out the door. Okay, let's go. Farmer was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Hmm, okay. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night left. Oh, I think I cut my thumb. Okay, well, let's go back to secret. Now I'm getting a call. Too popular. Why oh, too popular, man? Where from? Oh, Dad. Everything okay? Mm, all right. Let me call. Let me text. Guys, yeah, I'll keep playing, but. I won't be speaking because I'll be talking to my dad. Okay.
Okay, well, hello. We're back. Uh, my phone died. As soon as I called him. So, I'll wait for that to charge. I'll keep speaking for a moment. Just wait for that to charge. What type of house is this? Oh, is that um, Molly's room? This Molly's room. Yeah, look, Molly's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Okay. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody I'm about diary what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Okay guys, I won't be speaking because I'm going to call my dad in a bit. So I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. My Halloween candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. I kept eating and eating. I ate a lot of things that night. chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass.
just looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Everything had changed. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Pass. 
messenger, I was still hungry. And to cross the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. I'm not sure if I believed all of that but I'm sure Edie would have. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but Mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery.
his daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways.